And you guys, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Hey friends, it's Jen from Gold Nutrition. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today I am officially moving in and setting up my Erin Condren Academic Planner to be my content planner. And so if you didn't catch the video where I gave you a full walkthrough of this planner, I will link that for you. This is an academic planner from Erin Condren that was available and I think exclusive to Target. And so it was at a little bit of a lower price point. And since I was curious about this planner, I decided that was a great way for me to try it. It is a academic year, so it starts in July of 2023 and goes until June of 2024. And you guys, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I couldn't wait. I redated June so that I could jump in here already. I'm going to just give you a little peek at what I've done in here so far. And then we are going to really go ahead and set this up so that she is in full working order. So let's do that. Okay, so here is June of 2024. And what I did was I went ahead one night, actually it was a couple nights, I sat down in front of my TV, I was relaxing, and I redated all of June. So I used some leftover date dots from a Plan with Michelle kit that I had used sometime last year. I'd actually used it in a happy planner. Uh, I'll link that video for you if you're interested in seeing how that worked out. I hadn't used the date dots at that time. I'm really not one to usually redate my planner, if you've been following me for a while, and if you have, thank you so much. And if you're new here, hey, I'm so glad you're here. But if you've been following me for a while, you know that's not really my jam. But I just, I was dying. I had to use it. I had to find out <laughs> if it was going to work. And it is, it's working beautifully. Anyway, so I went ahead and did that. I threw down a few um, stickers from the Happy Planner. I am a Happy Planner affiliate. So my affiliate link is down in the description box. If you use it, I do earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. And if you do that, thank you so, so much. I always appreciate your support. So yeah, so that's what I did. And then how how I normally use my monthly spread is to track my YouTube videos. Right now, I mainly post once a week. Sometimes I've been doing a little more than that. And I just have been using a friction pen so that if I needed to make changes, I could. And that's kind of what's going on there. And then I do have a short up where I set up this June dashboard. These stickers here are from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. I used to be a rep for JoJo. So I went ahead and set up this dashboard. You can see I, I've kind of used it. I kind of haven't, but June is not by any means over at the time that I'm filming this. Hadn't really gotten into this page yet, um, but I will be setting it up in July as we move forward. So what I've been doing is I don't necessarily need to use the dot markers, but I had gotten these dot markers for Mother's Day. I really wanted them and they're really fun. I, I've really been enjoying them. Let me know if you'd be interested in me doing a video because I actually, I have two sets. I have this um, six color set where they're dual ended. And I also have, I think it was called the Smoky set and they're single ended. And I have used each set off and on for a bit. So I do have thoughts. I mean, spoiler alert, I like them. But um, if you'd like to see like a real in-depth walkthrough of those, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to do that. But I've been color coding between Planning Gold Instagram account, which is my exclusive planner account, my Gold Nutrition Instagram account, and then also my my YouTube stuff. So either YouTube uh, long form videos, YouTube shorts, or YouTube community posts. The way that I use this layout and it's just, it's just great. It's just, I don't know. So far, this has worked out the best out of anything I've tried to use for my content planning. It just sort of jives with my brain. Plus I was a horizontal girl for a long, long time. I put the posts, color coded the posts here, or, you know, red is YouTube. Then here are any things tasks that have to be completed for this piece of content. And here 
our story ideas. This has been working out great. So I'm so, 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 so excited. So let's start setting this baby up, really settling in. Yes. So the first thing I want to do is change up the covers. If you caught my recent video um, about Erin Condren notebooks, then you may have seen that I'd ordered this notebook. Now, I'll be honest, I wish that this didn't have a platinum coil, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. I'll go with it for this, you know, time of using this planner. This particular notebook has a rose gold coil, but really gold is really mostly my jam, <laughs> but that's okay. So if you're not familiar, Erin Condren covers are interchangeable. So I'm going to actually, for now, I'm going to swap them. I want to put this this cover onto a notebook that I bought that has a gold coil. But for now, just so I don't lose track of it, I'm gonna swap them. So I'm gonna pull this off the coil. Okay. So I will tell you guys, I am new in a lot of ways to being a coil planner. I have been a disc bound girl for a long time. I still am. I still am. I totally love my uh, half letter planner and I also still use a couple happy planners, but the interchangeable aspect of Erin Condren is what kind of interested me. And I think even though I'm a little scared or nervous about not being able to switch everything up the way you can with discs, also think it could be a positive for me as well. So yeah, I'm going with it. So let's put this aside and let's put on these new covers. <laughs> so I might struggle with this a little at first because this is my first time doing this, but I do have some scissors here. Oh, actually not too bad. I do have some scissors here because I know it can kind of help you in between. So let's see how we're doing. Those are on. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. It's such, so I'm not generally someone who is about bright colors and all of that, but this cover from Etta V I love, and I love florals. Florals are my jam. So I thought this was cool because this planner, you didn't have any customization choices. So you get the colorful tabs. And as you can see, these covers, they don't cover the tabs. You know, that's part of, I think, the Erin Condren thing. So I was not really loving them, but with this cover, I think it's pretty cute. So I'm excited. I'm loving it. So let's get the back on. There we go. Covers on. I am loving it. I'm loving it. And I think, I think it looks great. So let's open her up. The Erin Condren covers do have this barcode here. I guess it's just a thing that to contend with. And I don't really have a good sticker to cover it up right now, but I was thinking of putting an adhesive pocket here. Now I have these square ones too, but that would kind of, I don't know, I don't think that would look as good. So I think I'm gonna put that there. Honestly, I don't think it would be hard to take this off if I didn't like it. And I think I'll line it up with all right I think that's pretty centered <laughs> all right not sure what I want to put in the pocket just yet so just going to leave that for now next up I did get a name sticker from planner Kate 
And I had shared that I'd ordered them the first time with the capital J, and I didn't like the look as much as I liked with the lowercase J. And I believe this was the font option number four, if you like it. And I think... I don't know if I want to white out. I mean, I definitely don't need this to say school. This is a Erin Condren pen case that I'd gotten a while back that I personalized the colors on it and I love it. Uh oh, my white out is not in here. Oh, that is not good. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> So I don't know how I'm going to use this section yet, so I'm not going to do anything to this today. I'll most likely use it to highlight holidays or important dates that would affect my content, but like I said, not 100% sure, so I'm not going to do anything to that today. However, this page I want to set up with you. This is meant to be a class schedule because again, this is an academic planner that's supposed to be for a student. So I'm going to cover up the word class because, oops, because I am going to use this for my content schedule. But I'm going to label it summer schedule because I've decided I'm going to have a different schedule over the summer. So I grabbed this Live Love Posh Whimsical Summer Book because I know there's a sticker in here that says summer in a font that I liked. Okay, here it is. Going to put that down here. Um, yep, hopefully, hopefully that's straight. I am not used to having to plan on the coil, you know, with discs. You can pull the page off and put it on the desk and then you can put it back when you're done doing your oops doing your thing and it's a it's a different experience having the coil there there we go i like this summer schedule and then i grabbed this happy memory keeping which is what I got a lot of the numbers that I redated June with out of. But there are some like really cute summary stickers. So I think I want to put these. So this little camera seems kind of fitting and that's super cute. I'm going to put that there. For some reason, I am a sucker for a typewriter and flowers sticker. I think I like that. Maybe, do I want it upright though? And these stickers do seem to pull off this paper very easily, if you care. All right, let me do a little writing. I'm using my friction pens. I'm using them because I think that I'm not 100% sold on the schedule I'm about to put in here. So it's possible that as time moves on, I decide to change it. So I figured that would just be easier if I had erasable pen. Friction pens are erasable, if you don't know. And these friction sticks, I like. They write kind of, they write nicely, kind of like a gel pen. So let's see. So I think I'm going to do planning gold first. Okay, so um, I had to jump off camera for a moment, but basically what I did was I filled in these uh, dates. I'm going to run this schedule, I think, from June 1st, 2023 till September 8th, 2023. And then I used my friction pens and I made a line for my planning gold Instagram, my gold nutrition Instagram, and then YouTube. And I thought about making myself a little key down here, but I don't know that I really need to, though it just might be cute. But basically, if it's a filled in icon, it means I definitely want to post that day. If it's this like just a empty circle or an empty shape, it means I might post at that time, but I'm not obligated to it. And this means that I want to post a YouTube short, 
but I might not be obligated to it every week or it might go on a different day. So that's kind of how I set that up. I know it's still kind of bare, but I'm not quite sure what else I want to include here. I will definitely keep you guys updated <laughs> on how I use the rest of the page. Then there is this one here. I'm not going to set this one up today, but this will ultimately be for the schedule for fall. And at that time, I'll decide if it's fall and winter or what it is. So I'm not going to set this up yet, but I know in my mind, that's what this is going to be for. Then this, I'm going to make a place to keep information about the companies I am an affiliate for. I think what I want to do, friends, <laughs> I was having some technical difficulties <laughs> during the filming of this video. I think I have it straightened out, but uh, I lost a little footage. So here I just put down these stickers. What I'm going to use this page for is to keep track of the companies that I am an affiliate for. So anytime you use my affiliate links, which are always down in the description box, I earn a commission. It costs you nothing. And I just want to give you a heartfelt thank you for doing that. I am an affiliate for Impress Manicure, The Happy Planner, and Gravy as of right now. I'm not an affiliate for Erin Condren. However, I do have a referral link in the description box where you can save $10 off your first purchase with Erin Condren and I will receive a shopping credit. So if you choose to use that, thank you. So as of right now, I'm not going to do anything further to this page. I'm probably, I think what I'm going to do is just list out the companies, the platform that I interact with the company on, but I just kind of wanted to have a resource page. Like if there's some a contact I have with the company, things like that, that's what I'm going to put in here. All right. This notebook page before the month starts. I haven't completely decided how I'm going to use it. I was toying with the idea of making like a little mini monthly vision board. I haven't completely decided on that, that yet, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Then we have our July divider, kind of a cardstock, not super th thick, which I guess is good because it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the planner. The tab is laminated. And then we get to our monthly spread, which I'm going to do a separate video where I'm going to set up the monthly spread and the dashboard, which I'll show you next. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and you have that notification bell uh, clicked to all, and then you'll be notified of all my future uploads. And if you choose to do that, thank you. I really do appreciate that. So yeah, but I like the cleanness of this. That was a big selling point for me on this one because the academic planners that came out on the Erin Condren website, they were not um, completely neutral. There was one with some really cute florals, like kind of like daisies. It wasn't completely my style and there was color like in the words and things and I, I didn't really care for that. And then the other option was even more colorful. <laughs> I forget now what it was. So neither choice was really exactly what I was looking for. And then I saw this on the Target website and I said, yes, please. And I grabbed it. So here's the dashboard um, again, kind of similar to the one I showed you in June. So be on the lookout for the setup of those. And this page is labeled projects and exams. I'm probably going to just get rid of the and exams and let it be projects and keep track of monthly projects on these pages. Again, not a thousand percent sure how I want to proceed. I will certainly keep you guys posted as I really figure it out. So here is what the layout looks, the weekly layout looks like totally blank. And again, it's a horizontal layout where you have a smaller section here, a larger section here, and a little to-do list here. And how I've been using it just to recap, posts, uh, posts, reels, shorts, that kind of thing get listed here. And I love the amount of room I have to write. And then any to-dos that 
need to get done in order to get this content completed. I also have in the past kept track of those kinds of things in a checklist and I might put a checklist into some of the notes pages, but I haven't 100% decided if I'm going to do that or there is a snap-in checklist that I saw available on Amazon. I did see it a while ago, so I'd have to recheck. It was laminated, so I would have to use like permanent marker or wet erase marker on it. But I mean, I guess the nice thing is that I could, cause it snaps into the coil, I could move it from month to month and not have to rewrite everything. So um, again, just haven't quite decided that piece. But for now, this has been working out wonderfully. And then I put story ideas there and that has really helped me a great deal, a great deal. So I'm loving this layout. It's working out better than anything I've tried for my content planning in a long, long time. So I'm really happy I took the leap. I'm not going to do anything to these pages today here in this video. I have not really been using stickers or decorating it or anything like that. Like I mentioned, I've been using my dot markers and that's not even totally necessary. Uh, it was more for fun. Here's the other set of dot markers I mentioned before. Uh, these are the mild smoky ones and they're really pretty colors. I love them. So yeah, and then once you get past your weekly spreads, you do in this notebook get into some note pages and so i i was going through here and just kind of jotting down some ideas so like i mentioned i was considering doing a content checklist in here um i always love having oh excuse me a place to jot down my content ideas and so maybe i would do that on a monthly basis or maybe i would just pick one of the notes pages in the back and maybe i'll just keep like running content idea lists there but i love that you do have all these notes pages it gives you so much versatility in this planner so lastly I do have a few things to add in here, a couple additional items. If you saw my uh, Erin Condren notebook video, then you saw that little haul. So um, let's do this. So basically, first of all, there's no folder in this planner. So I got my hands on these snap-in pocket dashboards that they came out with th this year, which I have to be honest, is part of what kind of reopened my eyes to maybe coil is not as restrictive as I thought. So let's open this up. And they were sold out on the website, but I got them off Amazon. And again, this was probably a month or two ago when I started collecting things, but these are so cool. So they're top tabs and you get a set of three. So you can see you got one, two, and three. And then they have a pocket. Now it's a pretty tight pocket from what I've seen people share. And there's one on each side, which is really cool. I've used top tabs like this in my disc bound system, but they didn't have pockets. I love this pocket idea. I think that I'm gonna save two of these for my life planner that's coming. And I'm gonna put this in the back so that I do have somewhere to keep. Oh, and I didn't show you that this comes with stickers. They're all uh, school related. So like no class, test, exam, but I, I'll probably keep these for my kids. For uh, They keep a little planner for school. I mean, mostly I keep it, but, <laughs> but uh, maybe we'll use it for that. So I'm gonna snap this in. Okay, I got it on the coil. You can see there's a top tab that sticks up and now I have somewhere to store stickers or important papers in the back of my planner. So that makes me happy. Then I got some snap-in sticky notes. Now these I got because they were on sale and they are the Flora style. Um, I know it's probably not a perfect match to this planner, but <clears throat> I think probably down the line I'll get the Inspire ones, but this is what I have for now. So I could either just pop them in the front. I think that's what I'll do for now. Looks really pretty. Oh, if I'd realized I would have put my name just a little lower. Well, that's all right. So when I said I figured out my technical difficulties, um, yeah, I was lying. <laughs> I was lying <laughs> because I'm still having them. 
minutes, but I'm going to do my very best to wrap up this video because I need to use this planner. I just showed you how I popped this on. Now I'm going to say it is a bit tight here on the coil with some of the things I've snapped in here. The other thing that I added in here were these bookmarks that are a collaboration with Etta V. So it's a set of three. They're called mini snap-in bookmarks. And so I put one here at the schedule, one here in my monthly, which like I said, a plan with me will be coming of that. And one in the current week, which is actually not the current week right now, but I just put it here to see. I don't know if this is how I'll keep it because it is getting kind of tight on the coil, but I'm just kind of experimenting at the moment, but I do really like these. They're pretty and I like how they're little. And that is that. All right, guys, update already. <laughs> I had to change some things because it was too full and it was messing up my back cover. It was like popping it off the coil. So I had to pare her down a little. So for now, I took this out of here. If the need for um, a folder really arises, then I might rethink it. But for now, at the moment, I've been fine without it. And I might just add another adhesive pocket and that might be fine. I kept the sticky notes because I definitely need those. But I took out most of the bookmarks and I only kept one um, in my current week. So there's one there. And then I took everything else out because it was just getting too bulky on the coil. It would be really awesome if they would offer the option to upgrade your coil. I think some companies do that, but right now they don't offer that option. But anyway, I'm still very, very happy with the planner. Please let me know what you think. Do you want to see more of this planner? And that is going to do it for this one, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.